Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Today we're going to be spending a little bit of time in Packer refactoring our Packer templates to show you a little technique that I've that I use when working with a file provisioner in, in Packer. So here we go. So one of the one of the common things with the file provisioner is you need to drop the file into a location that you have access to. Um, so here there's a there's always going to be a temp folder, a TMP folder uh, that you want that you want to drop files into. Uh, depending on the complexity of your build, you you may want to move those files um, into into a folder that you create. Um, and so it can be very useful to declare a local variable that stores the name of that of that location. Um, and so uh, that that can that can help eliminate a lot of uh, repetitive repetitiveness of um, of the scripts that you write where basically that same path is shared everywhere and it's just copied like hundreds of different places. I mean, hundreds is an exaggeration, but um, as you can see here, just scrolling through the Minecraft installation guide, I mean, home MC server is all over the place, right? So what, what I would recommend is, um, is declaring a local uh, this is something you can do very easily using uh, HCL version of Minecraft. Uh, I'm sorry, HCL version of Packer, and basically declare a local called Minecraft home directory. Um, I can name this whatever I want. I just happen to name it that. And so the home directory for Minecraft is just going to be home MC server. And so basically, if if I declare this string home MC server, um, now I can basically replace all of these paths with a dollar squiggly and then local and then dot m minecraft uh home dirt right so so this helps me um, make my scripts a little bit less like redundant if i if i want to change this directory um, i just have to change that local file um, and it only happened and I only have to do it in one spot. So this is uh, this is a good refactoring technique to eliminate that. So let me let me go update these references, and then let's go look at um, the file provisioner and what we can do there. Okay, we got all those done. Now another technique with uh, with dropping files into a temp directory is you you may want to there may be multiple installations that you have to do. So you may not want to have all the files go into the same temp root temp folder. Um, so it's it's usually a good practice to declare a, a temporary path that you want to stage your files in. Um, so we'll just call this Minecraft uh, temp directory and we'll call it, we'll put this in temp. Now on Azure this temp directory um, is is set up when you when you boot the VM, uh, when the VM is deallocated, this temp directory goes away. Um, so you cannot rely on this temp directory to be persistent after a reboot. Um, so now this um, th this as long as you know that going into this, you should be fine. Um, it's it's not a stable place to put things. But when we're running Packer it's a very convenient place because then we don't have to clean up after ourselves because basically with, when Packer does its build, it's going to spin up a VM, it's going to copy files to the temp directory, move them to the correct location, and then the Packer VM itself is going to be deleted with our image being left the same. The temp folder is not captured on the image. So we can, we can, avoid any extra extra work and cleaning up after stuff that we don't we don't care about so we'll just call this minecraft so this is my minecraft temp directory and so now here um when i if we just look for slash temp right um i'm going to replace the temp oh, and we got we got quite a few places where we got the temp directory Pretty much after all my apt gets, right? Yeah, should be good. 
So now I'm just going to, again, use the local variable. And I'm going to drop the temp directory into this path. And so now I have a, I have a customizable temp directory. Start server.sh. I know for sure it's there. And I can change it in one place. I don't have to worry about, um, you know, if one of these gets out of sync um, and whatnot, it, I, I know that the temp directory is, is always going to be at temp uh, whack Minecraft. And, that, and that's where it is. Um, now, the, when, when, you, um, when you use the file provisioner, you always want to copy it to the temp directory. Um, it'll save you a lot of hassle in terms of like using um, uh, permissions. So temp is a, is a safe location where your, the packer, the user that packer runs under it will have access to it. Um, so you're going to want to copy the file into that temp directory, and then you're going to run a shell command that's going to copy that file out of the temp directory and into the final destination. So in this, in this case, we have our MC bedrock service file, um, which sets up the system cuddle service. Um, those belong in the Etsy system D system folder. Um, and so although we temporarily copy it from the local machine that's running Packer to the temp directory on the remote machine, we are then following that file provisioner with a copy command that's going to take it from that temp location on the remote machine to its final destination where it really needs to be. So that is, uh, that is a common pattern using the file provisioner. Um, and the right way to do it um, using the temp directory. So I hope you found this useful. Um, we refactored some Packer using HCL. Um, we went over how to set up local variables to simplify and create a, you know, create a, create a global co constant that we can use to embed so we have a single place that we need to change if we ever decide we want to change uh, those folder paths. Um, we also talked about the file provisioner and how we should always drop files from the local machine into a temp directory on the remote server, and then how we should immediately follow that with a copy command. Um, it could be inline, it could be in a script file, whatever you want to do to move that file out of temp and into the final destination, wherever it may be. These are definitely best practices when you're using Packer. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you find it useful. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Uh, please hit that uh, like button if you did. And uh, please subscribe and smash that bell so that you know when my next video drops. Thanks again. Azure Terraformer, signing out.